Thank you. Today is Operation Embarrass Your Family, and let me tell you, I am participating full sway. Jagger told me he likes my Yankee Doodle socks, whatever that means. Cyrus, the climb, right? Yeah. It's the climb. That's all. That's all you got? Wait. Was it worth it? It was so worth it. I'm about to jump in. Okay, backstory now that I can catch my breath. We had our sights set on Grinnell Lake Trail. Um, we drove over 70 miles from West Glacier to East Glacier, exited the park, went up a little ways, entered back into the park at Mini Glacier area. They were at capacity, we had to turn around. That was a waste of time. We drove three quarters of the way back towards West Glacier and ended up on Avalanche Lake Trail. And at this beautiful lake behind me, we're about to get in. really good. Okay. It smelled really good. What are you eating? I am eating a chicken fajita bowl. And? I think it should be pretty good. Rice, black beans, chicken, corn, roasted peppers, and onions. And mine has rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, and onions. With a teriyaki sauce. With a teriyaki sauce. And what are you eating? All right, Mountain House, don't do us wrong. Okay. I am also eating a chicken teriyaki and rice but ready wise brand so we'll see <laughs> how was your meal it was really good it actually really tasted like chicken fajitas i just need a corn tortilla and we would have been good to go how's your meal i'm good I determined I have the most bland meal out of the bunch, so choose Mountain House. Killing it, Mountain House. Word of advice.
Are you preparing for something we need to know about? No. <laughs> My back was hurting from the backpack. This was a good relief. <laughs> Leave no trace. What you pack in, you pack out. Hey guys, so um, we had a change of plans. We were supposed to stay in Montana until Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. Um, but we ran into this guy while we were there. We said hi a couple of times, um, stopped and talked to him about his dog. And then yesterday evening, <clears throat> he stopped by the camper. Well, it was just me, Jagger, and Bailey playing outside. Angie was doing laundry. We were chatting for a little bit, and he got to being very awkward, and he had his dog with him, um, and his dog was playing with Bailey, and um, he was getting down on Bailey's level and getting, like, super comfortable with our dog, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but Bailey isn't trained necessarily to, you know, be super protective yet. Yeah. He was asking Jagger questions like, this camper seems pretty small for you too. Um, would an extra adult in here make it uncomfortable or crowded? And Jagger said, <clears throat> it's already crowded in here. <laughs> um, which I had mentioned, you know, the fact that I had a wife a couple of times to him just to make sure that it was really clear that, you know, I was married and, and not single. And so, um, he actually stayed for a little while talking to the point where I had to tell Jagger, we, we had to go inside. It sounded like it was thundering and, um, it was getting pretty late. Told him basically to have a good night. <clears throat> he left. Angie came back. Um, we went back outside, had a bonfire going and, um, the lights were all off on the road. And so, we saw someone, Angie did specifically, come back to the end of our driveway and then walked back. And then a couple of minutes later, he comes back with his dog and is standing at the end of our driveway in the dark, not saying anything, just standing there with his dog um, for like 30 to 45 seconds at least. Um, and so I finally got up because I couldn't see super well, so I wasn't sure who it was. And, um, he kind of came out of the dark into the light of our camper and was like, oh, I just saw you guys outside the dog. My dog really wanted to come back and see you guys. And he just wanted to play. He was tugging and, and really insistent on coming back. Um, and so again, he stayed long story short, this was already a long story, um, made me super uncomfortable. I was a little afraid to be honest that he would come back and I did not feel super safe there. So last night I messaged our next place that we were going and asked them if we could check in a week early and they said yes. And so 
I went to the office this morning and told them we had a family emergency and that um, we had to leave today and asked if we could get a refund, which uh, they were super nice and gave us a half of our amount back. Basically, we stayed half of our time and they actually gave us um, half of our full amount back, um, which was super unexpected and really kind. So currently we are on our way to Pinedale, Wyoming. Um, we are not quite halfway there. We stopped at a harvest host again. We love a harvest host. Um, and this is an alpaca farm. They are so cute. We are going to do a little alpaca experience. Um, and so Jagger can, you know, pet the alpacas. So super excited about that. We do leave again in the morning and drive the rest of the way. Um, which is a little unfortunate, but, uh, our safety and comfort is, you know, really important to us. So we're good. Um, change of plans, totally fine. You know, be, be flexible in life sometimes. And that's one thing that we're definitely learning. So, um, we're super excited about this alpaca farm though. Angie and Jagger are playing football. So we're going to have a good quiet night, finish our drive in the morning and then be in Wyoming for a couple weeks. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way, I found my way. The brakes are just billowing smoke. Okay, cause I found my way.